Alright, so let's do a practice problem here for osmotic pressure. We're going to dissolve 2 grams of an unknown protein in 100 mils of water. The osmotic pressure turns out to be 0.021 atm at 25 degrees. So we're going to figure out the molar mass of this unknown protein, and we're going to calculate the height achieved by the solution. Okay, so we're playing with osmotic pressure here. So we're talking about pi equals capital MRT to start. Okay, we're going to use the other version, pi equals rho gh, a little later on. So we eventually need to get to the molar mass. So let's do some substitutions here. So I know that molarity is the moles of the solute divided by the liters of the solution, then times RT. I know that moles would be the grams of the solute divided by the molar mass. Divide that by the liters times RT, and I've got osmotic pressure. So what I can do is solve this relationship for osmotic pressure. So this is going to tell me then that osmotic pressure, or excuse me, actually I want to solve that for molar mass. So let's see, can I erase that? There we go. So I want to solve this for molar mass. That's going to be equal to the grams of the solute times the gas constant times the temperature divided by the osmotic pressure times the volume, the liters of the solution. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and plug in the numbers we have here. So I have 2 grams of the solute. The universal gas constant version we're going to use is 0 0.0821, and I need to use that one because we're going to have our osmotic pressure in atmospheres. Times the temperature in Kelvin is 298, all divided by the osmotic pressure of 0 0.021 atm, times the volume of the of the solution, and we're going to assume here that when I add 2 grams to 100 mils of water that I don't get any change in the volume of the solution. So I'm just going to assume that the solution is still 0.1 liters. And when we crunch the numbers here, I get 2.33 times 10 to the fourth grams per mole. And now you're probably thinking, wow, that's pretty big. And I guess it is, but also it's a protein. So the molar mass can be pretty large. So that kind of makes some sense. Now we want to get at the height that the osmotic solution here is going to achieve. So now I have to use the other version of the osmotic pressure equation, pi equals rho gh. And I'm going to need to solve that for h. So the height is going to be equal to the osmotic pressure divided by the density times the acceleration due to gravity. So the hardest problem with this calculation is really doing all the unit conversions. So I'm going to have my osmotic pressure, and it was given to me in ATM, but I'm going to need to convert that to pascals because buried inside of a pascal are the units of kilograms, meter, and second. And I need that meter in that second to work with my um, acceleration due to gravity g here. Which means, since I'm going to have pascals here, which have kilograms and meters, I'm also going to need to convert my density ultimately into kilograms per meters cubed. All right, so let's work all that through. So my height here is going to be equal to the osmotic pressure, which is... 0.021, and that's an ATM. To convert that to Pascal, I have to multiply that by 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascals per ATM. So that'll take care of converting my pressure into Pascals. Now I'm going to divide that by the density. So to find the density, I need the mass divided by the volume. And the mass of my solution is the 0.1 liters of the water, also known as 100 grams of water, plus the 2 grams of the protein. So I have 102 grams of the solution. I'm going to divide that by the volume of the solution, which is 0.1 liters, or 100 cubic 
centimeters. So now I'm going to do some conversions. I need to get my grams into kilograms. So one kilogram is a thousand grams and I need to convert my volume from cubic centimeters into cubic meters. And so I have 10 to the sixth cubic centimeters per cubic meter. All right, so if we take a look here, my grams will cancel, my cubic centimeters will cancel, and I've got my density in the units of kilogram per meter cubed, which is what I need. Then I'm going to need to multiply this all by the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, now I'm just going to slide this up a little bit, hopefully. Slide everything around. Okay, I'm going to move that up a little bit, move that up a little bit. Okay, so now when I do the calculation, I will see that eventually I am down to 0 0.213 meters, which is equal to 21.3 centimeters. So there's the height that I'll achieve. So my molar mass was 2.33 to the fourth grams per mole, and my height is 21.3 centimeters. Okay, the hardest thing about the second part of the problem is doing all this unit conversion and making sure that I've got my pascals talking with my kilograms and my meters as I do my density and my acceleration due to gravity. All right, that should just about finish it all up. Um, hopefully this was helpful, and we'll do some more practice in class.